like every religious denomination around the globe, the Jewish community has had to make some major adjustments due to COVID-19. Now that includes how to safely celebrate the upcoming Passover. At Bethel Synagogue in Durham, meals are being packaged and prepared for Seder, the Jewish ceremonial meal to start Passover. Usually, Jewish family members and friends gather together around the table to feast, but not this year. In no uncertain terms, we have told people you may not gather in each other's homes for a Seder. We must must respect the physical and social distancing. Since North Carolina set its social distancing guidelines for places of worship, Rabbi Daniel Graber has been holding services virtually. Doing a lot of the melodies that people find familiar and people are able to see the sanctuary that for them is a very safe space and a place that provides a lot of comfort. That comfort has meant making exceptions to the rules. To hold a public prayer, Jewish tradition requires a minion or a quorum of a certain amount of people. Technology and COVID-19 have changed that, whether on an app for some or Zoom, Facebook Live or Skype for others. And that has enabled people to do things to like uh, to say the mourner's Kaddish, which is a very important prayer emotionally for people after someone has passed away. Any last words of hope or wisdom to folks who might be watching regardless of their religion? But whether you're celebrating Passover or not, my hope at this time is that people connect with faith and know that freedom will return and that we will be okay.